I'm going to start with what law really is. Most of us think that we go into a courtroom and understand the difference between a court and a courtroom, that uh, the people who purport to use law really use words of art to make you believe, in fact, that law is uh, on the table when you walk into a courthouse or a courtroom, when in fact that's not true. And I would like to share with you tonight, regardless of your religious persuasion, what law really is. Law, and as Muslims would say, all law, is A-L-L -L space L-A-W, all law, all law. So for anyone who's of a Christian persuasion, don't be misled, and when you hear the term all law, all law is God, all right? That is also what we would say in lawful terms, a misnomer. All law is not God. God has no capacity and no standing to all law. Because God means governmental ordinance departments. There is no comparison. Now, who can use law? Law can only be used by people who are in their sovereign capacity. And I was, as I will share with you tonight, the majority of the people in the world, and I'm not going to get into all of the details about that, but the majority of the people in the world, 99% of them live in slavery today. So in 1863, via the Emancipation Proclamation, and I challenge you to go look in a law dictionary and look up the definition of emancipation and proclamation, and you will see that a proclamation is not a law. A proclamation is a public announcement by elected officials. It is not a law. So the Emancipation Proclamation of 1863 did not set any slaves free. What it did was standardize slavery, the United States being the model for the standardization of slavery, that all of the other nations around the world, as they reduced their people from their sovereign capacity and forced them to join nation states, then they were able to issue statute, codes, ordinances, resolutions on them. And a statute, as in a state statute of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, is not a law. It is corporate policy of the corporation that calls itself the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Incorporated. All right? Now, a code is not a law. The United States codes, the code of the laws of the United States of America that are used in federal court and the Supreme Court are not law. They are what they say they are. They are codes, ordinances, and resolutions of a municipality of the city of Philadelphia, which is a private, nonprofit corporation that calls itself the city of Philadelphia. An ordinance and a resolution, as in parking ordinances, they are not law. They are what they say they are. They are ordinances and they are resolutions. All right? And the reason they are not law is because the only people who can issue law are people who are acting in their sovereign capacity. And the people who sit in these seats as elected officials are not, in fact, in their sovereign capacity. They are in a corporate ward status, meaning that they are wards of the state. They are members of the corporation, which is a nonprofit, that calls itself the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And as long as they have a birth certificate on record with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, with that birth certificate being a contract, a birth certificate is a contract, and as long as you have a contract with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Incorporated, you belong to them, and that's what slavery really is. All right? So who can use law? If you are a member of a corporate ward state, if you are a member of a corporate ward nation that calls itself the United States of America, you are a citizen. Look in the law dictionary and look up the definition of citizen. A citizen is not a sovereign. A resident is not a sovereign. Therefore, if you use an address, which is a fictitious number associated with a designation issued by a corporate ward, right, then you become under the jurisdiction of those people who are also corporate wards but who are also slaveholders, all right? So if you are operating in that capacity, law does not apply to you. If you are a resident of the city of Philadelphia, which is a private, nonprofit corporation, and you say you are a resident of the city of Philadelphia, then the ordinances and the resolutions of that private, nonprofit corporation apply to you. If you are a citizen of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Incorporated, which is a private, nonprofit corporation, then the statutes of that nonprofit corporation apply to you. If you are a citizen of the United States of America, which is a private, nonprofit corporation, then the code of the laws, right, apply to you. But if you are a sovereign of the Moorish Empire, those ordinances, those resolutions, those codes, those statutes do not apply to you because you are not a member of the corporate ward state. It's as simple as that. And they understand the difference. This is why on their documents, they use words of art. They use the word label. They use the word person. They use the word address. All of these things that place you in their jurisdiction and you unknowingly fill out forms every day. And every time you fill out a form, 
you enter into a contract. I don't care what kind of form it is. It's a contract. A driver's license application is a contract. A social security application is a contract. When you call up the telephone company and you make a verbal contract over the telephone, this is why they can bill you. When you sign a deed, it is a contract. When you fill out a voter registration form, it is a contract. Does everybody understand that? Don't ever think. Every, anything that you put your signature on becomes a contract. All right?